set up your Raptor system using the PC setup software, first remove the USB flash drive from your Raptor system and insert it into your computer. Be sure to turn off your Raptor system before run the Raptor config software located on your desktop and select yes to load the config file from the USB flash drive. Under the general tab setting, you can control whether your Raptor is triggered by motion activation events or by time lapse. Under the motion activation or sensor event, you can select the time delay between each trigger event. To put the Raptor in time lapse mode, select the time lapse radio button and select whether you want daily or weekly time lapse events. You can specify the day which the time lapse event is supposed to happen, or select top of the hour if you're selecting a daily event. You may also adjust the low battery shutdown voltage, the LE in and sending a startup email notification every time your Raptor is powered on. Next, select the Email tab. Under Trigger Email, you can select items such as attach an image, send only a text message, or do nothing when your Raptor is triggered. Under Email Composition, you can add an email address, delete an email address, or edit an email address. You can also edit the subject line and sender's email address. Under status emails, you can configure a Raptor to send you a daily or weekly status email. This is useful to receive items such as battery status while your Raptor is in the field. You can also adjust the email format such as plain text or HTML. Next, select the Camera tab. You can adjust the camera ID if you have multiple Raptors in the field. You can adjust the camera trigger speed. camera resolution, camera description which is sent in the email text body, and DVR recording settings if you have the undercover eye Raptor version. Next, select the Schedule tab. This will let you adjust when the Raptor system is active. Items such as 24-hour activation, day only, night only, or use a scheduling grid. The schedule grid will let you select days and time which the Raptor system will be active. The scheduling grid is very useful for setting your Raptor up in applications such as job sites. The SMTP FTP tab lets you set up options such as your SMTP server and your FTP server. The SMTP email server is defaulted for the AT&T email client. The server can be adjusted for other cellular providers or for Wi-Fi radio users. When using the FTP option, enter the FTP address, username, and password of your FTP client. Next, select the Cellular tab to edit the APN address of your cellular provider. Again, this is defaulted for the AT&T client. If you have the Wi-Fi radio option, select the Wi-Fi tab. You can enter the Wi-Fi SSID 
and security network key. And select the time zone. Under the Coda tab, you can configure your Raptor to be configured over the air. For more information on Coda, please see the Coda Tech Tip video for more information on this powerful feature. At the bottom of the Raptor setup application, you can read or save setting files to your USB flash drive or save them to your hard disk. For more tech tips, visit www.pixcontroller.com slash tech tips.